Welcome to HTC's video tutorial series. Today we're going to look at the IPTV system. We'll go through a few of the functions on the remote and give you some tips. Let's start by going to the guide. I'm pressing the guide button on the left of the remote. That brings us into our channel list. You can see right now we're watching KMOV. We're on Great Day St. Louis. If I wanted to choose another channel, I could just use the arrow buttons to go down here. We'll choose another show. Say I want to watch channel 18. I just hit OK on that. It shows me a preview of what's on, and if I hit OK again, we go to the full screen. You can always just punch in the channel numbers and go back to where we were, for instance. I just hit 4 and hit OK, and that gets us back to where we were. You can press the numbers in the guide as well. If we wanted to see what was on in the future, I'm just using the right arrow on the remote to go through. We can see that we have a recording set here. That little red circle indicates we're doing a series recording there. And if I wanted to add a new one, for instance, let's say we want to record the bold and the beautiful, I just highlight that program, I hit OK, and it gives us options to set this up. Let's say we want to record every episode in this series of Bold and the Beautiful. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit OK. You can see the different options here. You don't normally need to change these. If you want to only record new episodes rather than all the episodes, it's a good way to manage your space. You don't necessarily need to see episodes that you've already seen. So I'm just hitting OK on that option and pressing up or down to change that. We'll just leave it on all for now. You can also manage your space by limiting the amount of recordings it saves. You can save one episode, five episodes, ten, or all. But often you'll just set the defaults here. I didn't actually end up changing anything, so I could have just hit OK originally, and it would set up this whole series for me. So once I exit that, you'll see that the little circular red icon shows up. That indicates that we're recording every episode in that series. If I want to change that later, I could do it from here, or I can do it from another menu that I'll show you in a bit, but I just hit OK on it again, and you see new options to cancel the recording, maybe skip that episode, do something like that. I'm going to cancel this series recording, and you can see the little red circle goes away. If I hit OK on it again, I can use the other option. Maybe I just want to record this program. I don't want to record the whole series, so I can choose that option here in this menu. Let's look at our other menu options besides the guide. To get the menu, I just press Menu on the remote. You can scroll left or right to get your different menu options. In this case, I'm going to start with the DVR. If you have DVR functions with us, you use this menu to get to your recordings. You can see the existing recordings you already have. We can play those back from here. So let me choose one. I'm just using the right arrow to get to those and the up or down to select one. Let's say I want to watch an episode of the talk. I just hit OK on it. We'll choose an episode. You get the options to manage the recording here, play it, delete it. Let's say I just want to play it here. Hit OK and there it is. I just hit stop to exit out of that. It asks me if I want to keep or delete it. If I'm done watching it and I can go ahead and delete it. In the to record option that shows you which recordings are coming up so you can check and make sure you got everything scheduled correctly. Let's look at our on-demand content. To get to that you just press menu. Use the left or right arrows in the menu to find the on-demand menu. Hit OK. You can go through the different channels to select any of our free content on this first menu. Let's say we want to watch Animal Cribs. I just hit OK on that. Choose an episode that I want to watch. Hit OK. And from here you can press play. To exit this you can hit the stop button or just hit the exit. I'll hit stop. Gets us back to that menu. Cancel out of that. And if I go up to this little up arrow in the very upper left I can get to the other screens. I'm going to latest new releases. This is always updated with the latest movies that come out on On Demand. Movies here, you can rent movies. Events shows you our pay-per-view content. So we'll go ahead and exit out of this. It's a good time to mention that if you're in a menu and you're not quite sure how you got there, maybe you know, you're 
you hit the wrong button and you're all of a sudden in a menu, just hit exit on the remote. It's about halfway down on the right and that gets you back to normal TV. If you've rented a movie and you haven't watched the entire thing or maybe you rented it for later, you can go back to it without having to go through the entire on-demand menus again. If you go to menu, there's an option for my library. And here it shows you recent items that you've rented. You can see we played the Animal Cribs show, so you can select those here and play them again. One more menu to look at. Let's look at the settings option. I pressed menu to get here, and if you weren't already on settings, just navigate left or right. I'll hit OK on that. It asks what your password is. If you're not sure what that is, just give us a call anytime we can get that for you. 618-939-6112. Mostly you'll be in here if you want to set up parental controls, which are under preferences. You can turn on parental controls. And we can help you manage that. If you give us a call, we can set everything up for you and give you some tips on how that actually works. There's also the option to require a login just to kind of lock down some of the things like pay-per-view content. So just let us know if you need any help with that. We'll go ahead and cancel that. I didn't change anything. You've got these other options for users, hardware settings, and miscellaneous. We'll set those up for you so there isn't much reason for you to need to go into that, but it is there if you need it. Let's go over a couple of the buttons on the remote that you might find useful. The first thing to know is if your remote is not working right, if it's not changing channels maybe, it's not controlling the volume correctly, it's just acting up. The best thing to do is to press STB. It's a very small button in the upper right of the remote, right below the power button. What that does is it tells the remote to control the STB or the set-top box, which is the equipment that we put in for you. Once you press it, it should let you change the channel, bring up the guide, all those things. Another button that's useful to know is the closed caption button. This is actually the star button in the very bottom left, to the left of the zero. It says input right above it. I'm going to press that button. You can see at the bottom it says closed captions now, and the closed captions start to show up. If I want to turn that back off, I just hit the star button again. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions about any of these functions or anything you didn't see in this video that you're curious about, just give us a call. We're happy to help our local support is at 618-939-6112. We're here from 7 a.m. to 9 o'clock at night, and after hours actually can help you too. We have 24-hour support. As always, we thank you for being a customer, and we'll talk to you soon.